Hi, my name is Taylor Baloney. I'm the founder and CEO of Find My Everything. And today I will be talking about accelerators and incubators and the differences and similarities between the two. As most of you guys already know, I'm actually a part of an incubator program here in New York. The program is called CSI Tech Incubator. The program starts January 15th, so I'm here as a part of the program. I'm really excited. The incubator program will allow me to receive mentoring, networking, office space, and be able to collaborate with other entrepreneurs. Now, many people actually confuse incubators with accelerators. They think that they're one and the same and they use them as synonyms. But there are actually many differences between the two. Now, incubators and accelerators share a lot of similarities in terms of networking, mentorship, and office space, but they also have many differences. Now, I'm going to be explaining some of these major differences one by one. Now, the first major difference between incubators and accelerators is the purpose and why the startup company is joining the program. Now, with an incubator, many times these companies are there because they're at the very beginning stage of their business. Usually, they don't have a business model, they just have an idea, and even if they do have a business model, they're in the very beginning stages and they're pre-revenue. With an accelerator, many times these businesses are post-revenue, they have their idea, and they have their business model, and they have their product ready to go. They sold many units, but they want to just move on to the next stage and grow and accelerate their business. The second major difference is the duration of time. Incubators are very long programs. They're usually about a year or two, or sometimes even three year programs. And accelerator programs are very shortened programs. They're only three to four months and they're very accelerated programs. The reason for this is because incubators, they start off with companies that are the very beginning stages, so they need more time to actually grow. They focus on the longevity of the business, whereas accelerators are focused on growing the business as fast as possible. And just like the name says itself, it's an accelerator, so it's moving really fast. Another major difference between accelerators and incubators is the investment capital received. With accelerators, many times if you're accepted into the program, the program will give you investment capital. An example would be if you applied and you were accepted, you would receive $100,000 in exchange for 20% equity. So you would give this accelerator 20% stake of your company in exchange for $100,000. With incubators, most times you don't receive this investment capital when you're initially accepted into the program. Although many times they do have connections available so you can meet different angel investors and venture capitalists and later receive funding, but you do not receive the funding right away. Last major difference I'm going to be explaining is the competitiveness. Both accelerators and incubators have a very strenuous application process, but it's just a little bit more competitive to get into an accelerator program. And that's because, as I mentioned before, accelerator programs invest capital initially into these startup companies, whereas incubator programs don't initially invest capital, but you do have the opportunity to later receive funds. So I only mentioned just a few of the many differences between accelerator and incubator programs. There are many differences that I didn't mention. If you would like to find out more information, you can do some research. I would definitely suggest joining either of these programs they're great for early stage startup companies. It all depends on where you are in your business, whether you join an accelerator or an incubator program. Again, my name is Taylor Baloney. Thank you guys for watching this video.